So I'd like to welcome all of you to the uh, world's first hybrid uh, mega event. Uh, you all know uh, the world has been passing through very difficult times and uh, uh, we're trying to battle with the COVID pandemic all over the world. So it's very heartening to note that we have been able to conduct this uh, very important uh, exhibition. We call it Aero India and uh, more than 50 countries have participated we have participants coming from all over the country. More than 600 exhibitors have uh, uh, put out their uh, platforms and their products and are showcasing their capabilities. A lot of B2B events happening. We have uh, seminars being conducted by uh, all the frontline industry associations in the country. You have SIDM, you have FIKI, you have ASOCHAM, you have uh, Bharat Shakti, uh, Synergia. At the same time, uh, very important that uh, we are conducting the Indian Ocean Region Defence Minister's Conclave and uh, a very good response is coming for this uh, conference and I'm sure this is going to pay way for uh, a lot of dialogue and multilateral cooperation that could come between the countries of this region not just as the, as the security as an imperative but also for humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations. I'm very happy that uh, Aero India is coming to our country at a time when uh, we know we are passing through tough economic times and uh, uh, we are also looking at uh, opportunities in the defence and aerospace manufacturing segment. India has come a long way in, when it comes to defence and aerospace manufacturing. Uh, our exports have been growing, uh, we have been manufacturing uh, and uh, also co-developing and, and uh, uh, developing indigenously platforms, equipment. Uh, in all the three segments, be it land, air or the naval segments. And uh, uh, there are platforms which are not, not just being made for India, but they're also being made in India for the rest of the world. So it's, it's very important that uh, such events uh, which happen at uh, uh, biannual uh, periodicity come our way and uh, we make use of the opportunities to bolster economic ties between the, the companies the OEMs, the global OEMs, the Indian multinationals and uh, thereby create a, a self-reliant Atmanirbhar defence and aerospace ecosystem in our country.